Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Specs. My name is Stephanie and today we're going to continue our discussion about absolute values with a special emphasis on velocity and speed. So let's get started. So first we're going to begin with some important definitions and we're going to define velocity and speed. And velocity indicates both speed and direction up and down. So velocity is a number. So that would be good to note. You can write that velocity is a number. Okay, it's going to be a number and it's going to have a sign. So if your object is moving up or if it's ascending, the sign of the velocity is going to be positive. And if your object is moving downward or it's descending, then the sign of the velocity will be negative. So remember, velocity is a number and it can have a sign. It can be positive if it's going, if your object is moving up or ascending. And it can be negative if your object is moving down or descending. Okay. Speed, the speed of an object is defined as the absolute value of its velocity. So speed is also a number. Okay but it is the absolute value of the velocity. So we're gonna take the number that is velocity, the rate, and we're just going to insert it into the absolute value, and that will be the speed. So I want you to ask yourself, what is special about the absolute value of a number? And we discussed this um, in the last lecture, but I want you to go ahead and think about it what is it that we mentioned about the absolute value um, of a number? We talked about different properties. Well, we said that the absolute value of a number is never negative. So what does that mean for speed? If we're taking the absolute value of velocity in order to determine our speed and the absolute value of a number is never negative, what does that mean for speed? It means that speed will never be negative as well. And so speed will be a positive value. So whereas velocity can be positive or negative, speed is always gonna be a positive number. So hopefully that will help you distinguish between the two. And I encourage you to um, make flashcards for this. This would actually be very helpful, okay? So let's go ahead and do some example problems. And for our first example, we're asked to find the velocity and speed. And our problem reads, a launch pad elevator for a space shuttle drops at a rate of 15 feet per second. What is the velocity and speed of the launch pad elevator? So I'm gonna highlight some important keywords that I read here on in my problem. So we have a launch pad elevator for a space shuttle that drops, so I'm gonna underline drops, at a rate, I'm going to underline rate, of 15 feet per second. And what are we asked to find? We're asked to find velocity and the speed. So here's our approach. Here's how we're going to tackle this problem. To find the velocity, we need to determine in what direction is the launch pad elevator going. So we underline drops. What does it mean to drop? When you drop something, in what direction is it going? Is it going up or down? When you drop something, it's going down. So because it's going down, remember velocity has a sign. So if it's going down in the previous slide, we'd said that velocity is gonna have a negative sign. So for our velocity, we're gonna write velocity is equal to negative 15 feet per second. And why is it 15 feet per second? Cause that was the value that we were given right here in our problem. So this is our velocity. It's negative because our launch pad elevator is going down. And if it's going down, then the sign of our velocity is going to be negative. Okay. Now to find the speed, we need to take the absolute value of this, of this velocity. Okay. So to find speed, I'm going to take the absolute value of negative 15 feet per second. And it will give me positive 15 feet per second. Okay, so this is going to be our velocity. Our velocity is going to be negative because our object is moving down and our speed is going to be the absolute value of our velocity, which we said is negative 15 
feet per second, and it will be a positive number, so it'll be 15 feet per second. Okay, so let's move on to the next example. For this example, we're told that a parachutist descends at a rate of about, 15, about 18 feet per second. What is the parachutist's velocity and what is the parachutist's speed? So again, I'm going to underline some important things. I'm going to underline descents. I'm going to underline rate and 18 feet per second. And I'm asked to find velocity and I'm asked to find speed. So to find the velocity, we need to determine in what direction is the parachutist uh, going. So I underlined it descends. So this means that I am going down. So they're going to be going down. And so if my object is moving down, then my sign is going to be negative. OK, so that means that for velocity, it's going to be it's going to be equal to our rate which we are told is 18 feet per second, but because our object is going down, it's going to be a negative 18 feet per second. Okay. Now to find the speed, we need to take the absolute value of our velocity. So speed is going to be the absolute value of negative 18 feet per second. And this will give us positive 18 feet per second. Okay. And that's how we figured it out. We figured out our our velocity's direction is down because remember that when someone drops from a plane, they're going down. So this is like our plane here and someone has dropped off and they're going down to Earth. So this is Earth. So they're, they're moving down. And so because they're moving down, the sign of velocity is going to be negative. And to find speed, we just take the absolute value of our velocity and that will be a positive number. Okay. So hopefully this is all making sense. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll be happy to get to them. So for example number three, we're going to practice more of uh, assigning the sign to velocity. So our problem reads, determine whether to use a positive or negative number to represent the velocity. So for the first scenario, we have that the velocity of a descending hot air balloon. So we're not giving any numbers. We're not told to state anything um, numerically. We're just asked to determine whether we would use a positive or negative number to represent the velocity. So I'm asked to find the velocity, so I'm going to underline that. And it's of a descending hot air balloon. So what does descending mean? So I have a hot air balloon, something like this, the basket, and I'm descending so it's going to go down so then therefore my velocity is going to be negative so let's say negative a negative velocity okay and then for our scenario b we're asked to find the sign of the velocity for a kite as it lifts into the air. So I'm going to underline lifts into the air and I'm asked to find the sign for velocity. So I have a kite and Maybe someone's running with it to try to get it to go up into the sky. So because it's going up, then my velocity is going to be positive. So I will have a positive value for velocity. OK, so hopefully that is making sense. And we're going to go on to the next example. So for example four, we're told that a helicopter is descending at a rate of seven feet per second. So go ahead and pause the video and underline the important keywords in the problem and then we'll come back and solve it together. Okay, so hopefully you got a good um, look at the problem. So we have a helicopter that is descending. So I'm going to underline descending and we're told that it is descending at a rate of seven feet per second. So for the first part of the problem, we're asked to find the helicopter's velocity. So my velocity, I need to determine the sign. So because it's descending, descending means that it's going to be going down. So my value is going to be negative. And what is the rate that I'm given? I'm given a rate of seven feet per second. So seven feet per second. OK, so this is our velocity. And then we are asked to find the helicopter speed and we're told 
we know that speed is always going to be positive. So we're going to take the absolute value of our velocity, negative 7 feet per second. And the absolute value of this is going to be positive 7 feet per second. And this is going to be our speed. Okay, because we have our helicopter here and it is going down. Okay, it's probably going to land somewhere. This is probably the earth, the land. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and continue on to the next example. And we're asked to find what is the velocity of a diver who descends to the ocean floor at a rate of seven meters per second. So I'm going to underline some key words. I'm going to underline velocity because that's what I'm asked to find. Of a diver who descends, this tells me which direction the diver is moving in to the ocean floor at a rate of seven meters per second. This tells me how fast they're going. So to find the velocity, I have to figure out the direction that my diver is moving and they're going down. So I probably have a diver here and they're swimming and they're going to the ocean floor and they're going down. So they're moving in this direction. So my velocity is going to be negative because they're going down. So it's going to be negative three meters per second. Okay, and that is our velocity. Now a good exercise for you to do at home would be for you to find speed. What is the speed of this diver? Okay, and I know that you can do it. All, you have plenty of examples in the previous slides to, to refer to as well as our, um, as our definitions page. So you can look at what is the definition of speed and how do we find it as well as all the other examples that we just did. So yes, you can um, and good luck. And I will put the answer in the description box so you can check your answer, okay? Now, let's see. That is the end of our absolute value lecture, which um, and where we emphasize velocity and speed and how to find it. We did multiple problems. Um, next time we will begin our absolute value practice set, which we're going to take everything that we learned from our properties and do a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of examples. And looking ahead to the next section that we're going to be talking about, we're going to be talking about the addition of integers. So where we will be adding things like negative three plus two or negative number numbers plus other negative numbers in various orders and um, I hope that you can join me for that but for today that is all and until next time and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.